Okay, good morning. Welcome to Summer Math Number 12. Summer Math Number 12. So yesterday I saw this really cool problem posted on Twitter by Evelyn Lane. And um, the question was, which is bigger, 10 factorial or 2 to the 22nd? And I gave, you, I gave you guys this as a challenge problem, and you actually came up with a very cool solution that's different than what I did. So I wanted you to talk through this. All right, you, you talk. So can you tell me what, what you did? Well, 2 to the 22nd, it's like 2, it, two to the 22nd. Well, 2 to the 10th is, one that is a little bit bigger than 1,000. We know that 2 to the 10th is bigger than 1,000. And why is that? Do you know what 2 to the 10th is? It's 1,024. Okay, very good. 1,024. So, you, so, you, so you have a little, it's going to be a little bit bigger than 1,000 squared times 4. What is going to be a little bit bigger? No. 2 to the 22nd. Okay, so 2 to the 22nd is greater than 1,000 squared, which is 2 to the 10th times 2 to the 10th. And then we have the extra Times 4, so what's, which is, what is 1,000 squared times 4? 1,000, it's, it, it's 1 million times 4, which is 4 million. Very good, 4 million. Okay, so that's 2 to the 22nd. We know 2 to the 22nd is greater than 4 million. Okay, very good. Well, we can make this a little simpler by comparing 400,000 to 9 factorial. Okay, so if we want to compare this number to 10 factorial, we take it's zero. the same as comparing 400,000 to 9 factorial. Because all the 10 does it is add on the 0. Very good. So greater or less than, we're not sure. Okay. So let, we can, let's factor 9 factorial into primes. Let me erase it, please. Okay. Factoring 9 factorial into primes, I'm just going to write it out first. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So what is 9 factorial into well, primes? Well, it's going to be 2 to the 7th. Because you have the two. One, two, two twos. One more. Sorry. One, two, now three twos. Yeah. Four twos. Seven twos. So this is two to the seventh. Times. It's going to be times three to the. One, two, three to the fourth. Three to the fourth. You see where the four threes are? Yeah, there is two there, one there, one, one there. Okay. And then you've got the 5 and the 7. Times 5 times 7. And the 1 doesn't matter. And the 1 doesn't matter. What is this in primes? Can you, do you see how to factor this into primes? Well, it's 4, it's four times a million. 4 times 100,000? Yeah. Okay. Or 4 times 10 to the 5th? And then 4 is 2 squared. 2 squared times 10 to the 5th. And then... Ten to the fifth, ten to the fifth is, is a ten with five zeros at the end. Uh, it's a one with five zeros yeah. at the end. But what is ten factored into primes? It's two times five. Two times five. So this is two to the fifth times five to the fifth, right? Yep. So here I get actually two to the seventh times five to the fifth, and I need to compare this to two to the seventh times three to the fourth times five times seven. Well, there's a little bit of canceling you can do. Okay, what can we cancel? You can cancel the 2 to the 7th. Okay, we can cancel the 2 to the 7th because we've got that on both sides. So now I'm comparing 5 to the 5th to 3 to the 4th times 5 times 7. And you can cancel a 5. I can cancel a 5. Now I'm going to do that with my eraser. 5 to the 4th times 5. So now I just have a, a simple question. Which is larger, 5 to the 4th or 3 to the 4th times 7? Well, we know 5 to the 4th. What were you going to say? Well, you, you can do... 3 to the 4th is 81, and you just have to multiply that by 7. Okay, well what is 81 times 7? 80, well, 80 times, 80 times se 7, it, well, it's 560. Right, so 81 times 7 is? It's 567. 567, and what is 5 to the 4th? It's 625. 625. So it looks like 5 to the 4th is bigger. So 5 to the 4th is bigger, which means what is bigger? 2 to the 22nd. means this 400,000 is bigger than, 10, than 9 factorial, which means 10 factorial is less than 2 to the 22nd.
Okay. Cool. Yep. That's pretty neat. Now let me just, in, in like literally like 30 seconds, show you how I did it, which was a little bit different. Okay. I said 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times times 2 times 1, and over here I had 2 to the 22nd. Okay. Now, I'm going to cancel all the 2's just like you guys did. I got 1, 3 2's, 4 2's, two, two, seven, 7 2's, and eight two. eight two. So over here I got 5 times 9 times 7 times 5 times Wait, you forgot the 3. Mm. Oh, I forgot the 3 here, times 3, right? Yeah. And this equals 2 to the 14th. Sorry, is it greater than or less than 2 to the 14th? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now, how are we going to figure this out? Well, interestingly enough, I've got a lot of things over here that look like powers of 2. For example, you ready for this? Yep. Uh, 9 times 7 is 63. Which is? Which is pretty close to 64. Which is? Okay. Which is? So over here I have a 2 to the 6, which is 64. Over here I have a 63, which is bigger. The 64 is bigger. Okay, the 64 is bigger. Here I have 5 times 3, which is what? 15. Okay, is that near a power of 2? Yep, near 16. Okay, what is 16? That's 2. 2 to the 4. Okay. okay, and then I have one more 5 times 3. It's, it's there, the four. Now, this I have 63 times 15 times 15. Here I have 2 to the 6 times 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th, which is 2 to the 14th. But this is bigger than this, that's bigger than that, and that's bigger than that. So which side's bigger? This. Pretty cool, right? And here I didn't really have to multiply very much out. Yeah. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. That's a neat problem from Evelyn Lamb. It's from a new book called, I think the book is called Really Large Numbers. So we'll get that book when it comes out. Yeah. Maybe it talks about grams. Maybe. All right. Good job, guys. Sorry that was a little long.